Hey guys, it's Wolf, and we are back with Timberborn, and as you can see, we're on update 4. Um, the update caused some issues with the last save. So we're starting a new season. Uh, new game. We're going to run the Folktales. We're going to run Helix Mountain, because I haven't played this map yet. And of course, we're going to do hard, because... Um, some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice. I am willing to make. We're going to play hard mode. And that's it. We're going to have some fun. We're going to build a beaver civilization to conquer the known world. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good, good, good time. Good times. Good times indeed. If the game would load, it, the loading time does take quite a while. There we go. What are we going to name our beavers? Settlement. Ah, uh, this is hardcore. What's this, season three? I, I don't know how to... Words. Uh, what to name the beaver settlement? It is Beaverton. Is that how you spell Beaverton? I don't care. Uh, Alright, let's pause the game before we do anything. We need to get some things pretty much sorted out immediately is what we're going to need. Okay. So we got this area down here, and we have our Helix Mountain, which looks quite nice. It does, and we are conveniently located right here. Okay, so I think the first thing we need to do is get some water. We're going to need a water pump. Uh, we'll put one right here for now. Where could I put the row if I don't want? Ooh, that's a nice area for water pumps. Okay, so we'll do a single water pump right here for now, just because we're going to need it. Uh, we are not doing mods this time, so there will be no, like, custom... Why am I like this? There's not going to be any custom stuff. Do -do 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 -do. Um, this time it's just going to be vanilla gameplay, and whatever happens, happens. Okay, so now we're going to have water, but before we can do that, we're going to need a lumberjack. Who can cut down some of these trees, because we have trees over here, mostly. So we'll put him, like... What do y'all think? Like, over here, maybe? I think right here will be fine. We don't really need that second plateau yet. Like, right here will be fine for the lumberjack. And we'll path the way over to him. Like that. And then we're going to need a gatherer, because we're going to need some food. So we'll get a gatherer, and they can start gathering that. And then we're going to have them start cutting down some of these trees. And this is going to be an entire area of trees to get cut down. And I think the first thing that we really need to do is probably dam across here. So we can have water... Ooh. Um, ooh, there's water up here too. Okay, we're going to start playing the game so they actually start doing their jobs. We're going to fast forward, and while they build and start cutting and doing other stuff... Alright, we have food, we have that, that's going to get built. While we do that, we can look and see what else we're going to need, but as far as the water goes, um, I probably should not build there. I should probably do a dam right here, and then put my water pumps right here. At least for now, uh, that seems like the logical thing to do. And uh, unfortunately, we're a logical people here, so we're going to just throw our water right here. And just path over to it this way. And that'll be just fine. And that'll also give us a direct path over here, which will be nice. We can just connect up like that. Okay, so that's nice. This is going to be the priority for wood. And then they can start building these, because these are going to take a lot. Cool. Alright, so we got that going. Uh, how many beavers do we have without a job? We have four unemployed beavers, so we're going to do a second lumberjack for a little bit. At least until we get things figured out. And then I think also a farmhouse starting out would be a good idea right now. 
Let's get a farmhouse next to our water pump. And we're gonna... Da -da -da -da. Second priority. First priority is the that. Second priority is the farm. And then we're gonna get all these built. And hopefully we can do all that before... Okay, so we have a water pump. That's gonna be a high priority job. And this is also gonna be a high priority job. This is gonna be the low priority jobs. Uh, we still have three beavers without jobs, which would be perfect, because I think... Yeah, this one has three workers, because it's a high... It's a, one of those new efficient farms. Then finagling efficient farmhouses with new technologies and things. And uh, we're going to plant carrots. And they can eat sunflower seeds, right? I can't remember. They can eat sunflower seeds and carrots right off the bat. So if we do a field of both of them, I think we'd be set. We have food growing. We have that going. Next thing is a... We need science. We're going to need some science. We're going to need science, and then we're going to start needing housing quickly. So we can start upping our population, getting more water, and other stuff going. For now, we just need this dam to get built. Oh, this is interesting, interesting. This uh, map is going to bring with it some challenges. So what I'm thinking, just by looking, is this dam will be nice. But it'd be even nicer if we could dam this up as well. Ooh, we could flood. We could finish that and then flood the entire thing right there. That'd be a massive reservoir. How many water sources? We have three water sources up here. And we have two up here. So, just based on that, our water should be fine, as long as we can manage properly, for the most part. Uh, water. 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 Oh, three days to the first drop. Okay. Well, <clears throat> let's hopefully get this dam built. Uh, we're going to be upping our work hours to 20 hours. Sorry, beavers. Y'all got three days to get this built. Otherwise, y'all are gonna not have water. Y'all better get to chopping. I wish these were a little bit cheaper, to be honest. That'd be nice. And we got one, two, three, four. That's 80 logs. Each one of these only gives you like two. So they have to cut down 40 logs worth of trees. That's, that's a decent amount. It's not a small number. Uh, what are our other oh, building? That's fine. Uh, there's also a log over here. I don't really know if somebody wants to come pick this up really quick and use it to build some quick resources. It's free real estate. Oh, uh, come on. Sleep for your four hours and then get back to work. Sorry, I know y'all are going to be thirsty. Y'all are going to be hungry. These are bad working conditions. I'm an awful god. I know. We had two people that were not working, so now we have everybody working. We also have water. First water tank. This is getting built now. We might make it in time. And once the drought starts, we'll reduce their work hours so they don't drink as much water. I don't think the first drought's going to be super difficult. It usually isn't. But yeah, we're going to start planning our next move over here, which I think would be a good start. Because we can path across this and just kind of path over here and then all the way across that. There we go. Okay, um, we're starting to get some deeper water on this end, which is beautiful. Beautiful. They only need another 24 logs. Almost got it. We're almost self-sufficient. Okay, we can also start planting some sunflower seeds real quick. Uh, that's a big enough sunflower field, I think. That is unfortunately not my priority is our science, but right now priority is you. Soon it will be not you. Hurry up, we're gonna be pushing it. Yeah. Two more logs, two more logs, two more logs. Come on. Come on. 
Okay, okay, we have the reservoir. It has been built, and the drought starts now. So we're gonna reduce them back to a normal 16 hour workday. The drought has started, it is only five days. So that's not atrocious, to be honest. We can do a five day drought. They're already harvesting food. We already got things going. So let's get this built. Let's get these other two water tanks built. How much do these take? 15 logs. That's not awful. Um, but we need this built pretty quickly. Because we need to research a forester. Uh, can y'all reach? Y'all can't reach over here. This is another area of trees that we can get to. Mm, I go you can reach all of that. You can't reach over there. Okay. That's fine. Um, this whole area of stuff probably going to have to get demolished anyways. We plant our crops down this row. But for now, we're not doing too bad. We have some... We have enough logs to finish that. How much is a forester? Forester, where's the... There it is. Uh, Forester. Ten and seven planks, which means we're going to need a lumber mill. But this is where the water is the strongest flowing. Through, so we can get that done. Uh, they'll start building that. Oh, I need to prioritize some things really quick. These? Low priority. Low, 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 low. Stop building. Stop building that. Hold on. Pause. Pause. Stop building those. That is, like, next wet season stuff. Uh, right now... Okay, so we have our science going. We have 13 science. How much for the freaking forester again? If... 60. Okay. We'll get the forester going soon enough. Right now, this should be the number one priority, and this should be the second priority. Because we're going to need the water to power the mill... That's going to take a lot of trees that we don't have, so we're going to move one of our lumberjacks over here. Because now he doesn't have a job, we're going to move that over here. And then we're going to cut these trees down as well, because these are just going to die in the drought anyway. There we go. Okay. Those trees were just going to die in the drought. And then they can just take them straight over here, get this going. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then there's two logs there. Uh, I'll wait until they do that, and then I'm going to take him and push him further out here. There we go. Now we can also cut down all these trees up here. So let's add some more tree cutting area to our portfolio. And we have plenty of wood for our endeavors right now. We only have another 1.6 days for the drought. Not too bad. How's our food doing? We got 20 berries. Um, no carrots and no sunflowers yet. Not a big deal. Not a very big deal. Okay, so this is getting built. Cool. This is going to be one of those seasonal jobs. Planks for now. Eventually. Wait, what? Ah, my God, I'm oh, he's injured. He's got a broken tooth. Not the broken tooth. Uh, well being. We need a grindstone to fix the teeth. The little teethies are messed up. We're going to high prioritize that. But we made it through the first. Ooh, there is no food. Oh, because the berries over here dried out. That's not good. It'll die in five days, but that's not good. We didn't want that. Uh, that'll be built soon, so I'm going to unpause this. And I'll start building that next, which is fine. Because we're going to need this dam built up. What's over here? Dandelions. Oh, look! A dandelion! Must be the last one this season! <laughs> okay, we got carrots, we got berries. We're not doing too bad. Got half a day until the drought ends. That actually is kind of cool that it spirals down, but we're going to make some faster ways for water to get down to us because 
knowing my luck, by the time the water gets down here, the drought's going to end. Uh, we have enough water for now. We've got sunflowers. Let's do some storage. We can do small warehouses or medium. Should we just do medium warehouses like right here? I think some medium warehouses for our food like right across the street. And then we'll have carrots in one and berries in another and we'll do sunflower seeds in the third one. We can Let's get that demolished. Let's just get all of this as non-tree cutting. Let's get all of this as demolished. Uh, demolish resources. Alright, so it's the wet season. Um, usually they're pretty short. So, yeah, enjoy the wet season time lapse and we'll see everybody in just a few minutes. Alright guys, we're back and we now have the six day drought, which isn't that big of a deal. We're gonna pause our little woodcutter here because there's nothing else he can do. And we're gonna hopefully get this built for the next wet season. It should be happening anytime. Uh, well, it'll happen in six days. Uh, hopefully we can get that built by then. We did get our forester in place. And now we have plenty of trees being planted, and then enough to be cut down eventually. Uh, we planted a bunch of maples, because maples give us the best return. Some pine up here, which I think is what he's working on now, maybe? Or is that the tree cutter? That's our cutter. Uh, maple, some birch, because they give us the fastest turnaround, and we just need quick resources. But other than that, we're also going to move... Uh, we're going to put, I want to see where I can put my gatherer to where he can get, uh, we just might need two gatherers. Uh, we'll put a gatherer over here for now, and we'll pause this one, and always have him working, always have this working. The rest of the jobs are optional. We always need water, we always need food. Uh, soon this guy will be out of a job anyway, so that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. This guy will be out of a job very soon. He's almost done with these trees, and the rest will get demolished eventually. Uh, our little... Ooh, they're, they're working fast as shit. Soon this area will be done, which means we can have water blocked into this area permanently, which will be nice. And it'll give us access over here, which may give us a path up here. Uh, once we get enough beavers again, we'll have some science. But I need some science to get the platforms so we can platform ourselves up here. So we can demolish this. I think it just runs off that way, but we could demolish this and then dam it so most of it comes down to us. Which I think is probably the better option in the long run for the beavers here. But yeah. Uh, during the droughts, we pause him. So that's going to die in eight days, which is fine. I think we'll be fine for these few seasons. Uh, you don't have anything left to do, so I'm going to demolish his job so he can find another job. 
think the only two, those two jobs are right here. One and two. So we have two jobs, but we have four baby beavers because we built some housing. And you know how the beavers go. You build some houses, you end up with babies. It's just how it goes. They enjoy their privacy. Uh, we have all of this, but now we're going to need a wood pile. So we're going to do some storage for wood next. We're going happy, happy beavers quickly. Uh, storage, we're going to need a large wood pile. We'll get that built. Just so they can store the logs that we cut down somewhere. Soon we'll have all these logs planted. Oh, this, this guy didn't. Okay. There we go. That's what. Okay. That's fine. Now, the trees weren't getting planted. I was wondering where that second job was. Okay. Well, that's no longer an issue. But now, at least we're getting stuff planted. We got two more days in the drought, then we'll have the wet season again. One of these trees grew up, just to spite me. Yeah, but we need... 20, 40, 60, 80 logs. 76 logs. Close enough. These are giving us like two every time we cut them down, so I think we'll be good. You need to be that. We'll do a small storage over here for some of the planks, just so we have a place to store these because we're full on planks. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, I know it's going to get harder. It always does, but so far, so good. And soon we'll have four adult beavers. We are going to eventually need to get some. There we go. Okay, so we have one builder right now, which is a little on the crappy side, but we built some more housing and we'll get fixed. We'll just do one for now. Uh, that's another three beavers that we have room for. So that should help out a little bit. And then let's see if we have anything for their well-being. Rooftop, grindstone, campfire. Uh, we don't have any of this other stuff. Well, we can do a campfire kind of in the middle town right here. It's more or less centered. I know it could be more to the right, but the drought has ended. So without further ado, Wet season time lapse. Enjoy the Helix Mountain. We're back and the drought has started and they might get this dam built just in time, but it doesn't look good if we're being honest. Being very honest, I don't think they're going to get it done in time. They need six more. Well, they might. There goes two more. Can we get two more? Two more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Build it. Build it. Build it before you run. Okay. They got it done just in time for the dry season. Uh, it's an eight day dry season this time. We're getting two more water pumps put in to keep the water flow going. That is gonna impact our job stability, but what's actually gonna happen is we're gonna pause this one because this is what's giving us our food and our trees right now. So we don't wanna drain it. So if we can get two on this side and then exhaust this pool of water and then this pool of water, I think that's a lot better for us in the long run. 
And speaking of things in the long run, let's get platforms. So now we can try to get up here to get rid of all this mess. So we're going to need... And then once this gets done, we'll be able to get up here. And we'll throw another staircase in right here. And then we can run all these for demolition. Um, that's resources, I suppose. But we can demolish those and then have water flow that comes from this direction. Which doesn't seem like a big deal until you realize it is. <laughs> and so far, so good on that part. I'm just trying to think of how I can use all this to my advantage now. Uh, realistically, I would like to just block in this area in the back. Like, fully block it in. And then turn this into a reservoir with, like, a floodgate at the very top. Like, maybe... That's the height right here on this level. Just do a small floodgate on that level for the water to overflow off the map. That's the ideal outcome. But uh, we'll see. We shall see indeed. Right now we're pushing our luck, but we got our two water pumps going. Now. Uh, we have no beavers out of a job. We have one free bed and two baby beavers. So we're doing fine right now. Food is going up, water staying the same, logs are about the same. Uh, I think the issue here is we're probably out of planks, aren't we? Yeah, we're out of planks. So we're going to need to do something about the planks. So what we're going to do is come over here and demolish some resources. I just love getting rid of nature. Get rid of all that, and what we're gonna do is just put a power wheel right here. And for the summertime, we do that. Get rid of that right there. And then this job right here is actually about to get. There's no more trees over here. So we're gonna get rid of his job as well. Uh, he can end up in the wheel over here. That's fine. But that'll give us a beaver in our spinny boy here. Because it will have power as soon as we get some more logs moving. We're still planting trees, holy crap. There's a lot of trees to be planted. But we're doing good. The beavers, for the most part, are doing just fine. Uh, we're going to need to demolish some resources that are in the way of our stuff over here. That way we can actually get up to this area and demolish all that in time for the wet season. Hey, and they're already over here doing their jobs. Nice. Oh, I still have them working 20 hour days. My bad, beavers. I'm sorry. They're like, this guy's just working us to freaking death. I mean, it's hot outside, dude. Trust me, I, I sympathize with the beavers when it's hot outside. It is not any colder down here in the Alright, three days left. I think we got this. There should be enough water here, but we are starting to get to that like, dangerous area. We're going to need bigger water. Bigger water. That's good. Good, good words. I'm, I'm a real articulate speaker, if you can't tell. Uh, let's see, could we get some stairs? I'm trying to figure out how we can get up here, because we could start damming some stuff up here maybe, and then take some of the water from up here. So let's, let's not build that. Let's figure out how we want to do this first. Probably like right here would be a good one. Across this, because this is the same level as this, so this would be the max level we have to go. Um, so we have to get up there somehow. So let's, and then we could just come over here and have them build across this way. Yeah, across this way, so we'll get some damn levees. There we go. 
And we'll start doing levees all the way across like this. Because they can build straight down still. And then we'll throw a dam in on top of it. Since we don't have a... These are a little bit outside of our range for stuff right now. But we can do that. And then we can move our water pumps up here where we'll have deep water. It's not the worst idea. Not the worst idea. Uh, we have the wood for it. We have the planks for it. We have the beavers for it. I think this is a good path moving forward for our beavers. We'll throw in some new housing. Let's get some housing going. Just throw in a new one right there. But I think we're doing good so far. Food is starting to go down a little bit, so we'll probably build another farmhouse over here, maybe knock down some of these resources. Uh, not resources for demolition. Probably clear this area out, put another farmhouse over here, do a similar setup of planting. Uh, right now the food's pretty stable. But I'd rather have a surplus than start going negative. Food is good. How are we doing on this construction project over here? We're almost done with the first parts of it. Oh, we're almost done. And the drought has ended. So let's enjoy the wet season time lapse, shall we? back we have our first 10 day drought that picked up pretty quickly uh, we didn't do too bad on the 8 day drought so we'll see what happens here we have enough water storage we're going to unpause that way we can have our power going and we still have one person with a without a job right now so we're probably gone we're getting to the point where now we can start. Well, that's out of range. That would explain it. We're getting to the point where we can start adding secondary jobs and things like that. Now it's within range. It is. Uh, yeah, we're gonna add a forester over here and demolish all of this, and then have it rebuilt as a blueberry area. That way, it stays kind of. Then we'll build a farm over here once we get probably two more. But yeah, we're gonna do all that. So we're gonna demolish some resources and just clean up this entire area. And then we're gonna build a forester right here for now. That's just gonna be a temporary. Actually, I'm not even gonna put him there. We're gonna put him over here. He's gonna build everything in the middle right here. 
the plant them with the blueberries. As you can see, they did a great job building this part so far. It's coming along quickly, as is our new project over here where we're completely damming this area. And then we're going to have a another emergency reservoir of sorts of water right here, just kind of dammed out from right here. Um, I had those set to low priority just because I didn't want them getting built before that was built. But now we have that going. We have this being built, which is well on its way. And then we'll have this being built where we can move all of our water pumps up here to where the water will be much deeper. Yeah, the water here will be much deeper. So we'll be able to do that. I think we'll be good for the most part. We might have to move our water storage a little bit. But I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, thinking about it, I probably could have made it one block higher. Oh well, it's too late now. I'm not going back to deal with that. We have seven more days for them to build. Are they even starting on this yet? Okay, that's not an issue. They have their priority, and this is the priority right now. Which I don't blame. Still waiting on these maple trees to grow, but at least we're cutting down these pine trees. Actually, that's why. I was wondering why these pine trees have just been here the entire time. It's because they weren't marked for me to cut. I'm bad at my job. I'm sorry. I know. We're just going to get rid of this entire area. That way it doesn't accidentally cause lag later down the road. And same with that area. There we go. That's our tree area. All said and done. Uh, that just needs a few planks and some logs. That'll be pretty quickly done. And then we'll be able to plant a whole army of blueberries in this area. We're going to fix this road really quick and just have it go along the edge. And then add in our stuff. And we'll fix this blueberry patch up. Once that gets built, we'll get a bunch of blueberries in over here, and that will be a finished blueberry field right there. And then we'll add a farmhouse, because we have two babies currently. We're going to add a farmhouse, and we'll put our farmhouse probably right here. Yep, that looks like a good enough area for any. I think we're off to a fantastic start on our hardcore Timberborn series. Oh, they've already started building this dam now. They built that before that. Doesn't make sense to me, but you know, I'm not a beaver, so I don't know things. I let the beavers work in their mysterious beaver ways. Ooh. Hey, now we can start building this. Uh, all of these should be high priority. These are going to be built immediately. That, none of those should require planks though, so as long as I do like that. We should get some building materials over these, with these sites. And I think we'll be just fine. We're halfway through this drought, and um, we still have plenty of, I won't say plenty, but we have enough water here. We have a decent amount of water here. We have enough water in storage, all but one of our tanks is full. And that will be full enough in just a second. We have food. Our food is starting to decline. So that's that's the big thing we need right now. So let's get that figured out. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. We'll get the food figured out. We're going to add a house over here. And that house is going to be for the farmer's food over here. So we're going to put a house right there. There. Nothing to do with my ranch. Oh, yeah, that's because this isn't built yet. Uh, just get that built. This, this shouldn't be high priority. I'm just not smart. We're gonna uh, medium priority on this. Actually, it's just normal priority on this. Hold on. None of this should be high priority. So right now, we need housing, we need food. We need other stuff. That's not the biggest priority for me right now. Um, there we go. And then we're gonna... One, 
two, three, four. Can they not reach that tree? No, they can reach that tree. We're just being lazy. That makes sense. Get rid of that tree for me, please. Uh, forester. Yep, okay. So the forester's already hard at work. So we're gonna do our nice little fields over here. So I want one, two, that's how I like to do things. And then this is our new farm fields right here. Because that should reach all of this area, which means realistically you can do another one, two, three, four, five. And then do another farm field. Oh, uh, there's almost enough. That's three farm fields, so we could do, uh, let's see, food. We could do another thing of carrots. Uh, we could do potatoes, but they would require a grill. Okay, okay cool. Uh, we don't need you anymore. Find another job, my guy. We'll do more sunflowers and more carrots for now. Uh, we'll figure the potato thing out in a minute. Maybe we'll build a grill over here. But right now we need we have three. We're going to need more food quickly. So we're going to do this, and then of course high priority. How are we doing over here? Oh, they built that. Okay, that was quick. That was quick, that was quick. This is also well on its way to being done. Uh, I guess they're building the dams first for whatever reason, not the levees. But we have one more day. And then we'll end this episode on the wet season, or the beginning of the wet season. It sounds like a plan to me. We have three baby beavers, four unoccupied beds. Freaking finally, our maples are finally starting to grow. We're using up trees as fast as we can plant them, though, so we may end up planting more trees down here. We did run out of water, so we're going to start pumping from our reserve. And pause these two. Uh, we shouldn't run out of water in our reserve. It's only, like, half a day. I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's see. We'll do two workers over here, and we'll have two workers on this farm field see the need for having three until we have enough workers to do all the above. There's some free resources over here. It's free money. And that is the end of the drought. We're gonna let the water hit our dam over here and see how it looks because that's gonna be the quick way to refresh in our stuff now is this way. This is the fastest way we can get water to ourselves. Yeah, I guess, okay. Well, this is the fastest way for water to get to us, so we're going to watch as it gets there. So it hits that dam that we built, and now we've pushed the water to where it has to go this way. That's going to get built really soon, and so is that. Now we have water immediately, so we can start pumping from these two and stop pumping from that one. Perfect. Beautiful. So we have water before the water's even gone like a third of the way down the helix. Which is awesome. The only bad part is if this water dries out, we lose our crops. So ideally, once we get this built, we'll have some type of irrigation channel that runs down here. Uh, but that's another issue. They're still building. How are they building one away? Are they building diagonally? They are. They're building across. The building in parallel is weird. Okay, there we go. So we've caused a flood up here. And now all of that water is being dammed up and sent down here to us, which is. Ooh, that water level is pretty high. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, we have our farms, we have three baby beavers. Our food should start going up now. 
our logs are going to be about the same for a little bit. This isn't going to get built for a while. Probably next episode this will get built and we'll move all of our water pumps up here to the deep water area. Because this is going to be what ends up refilling. What I think I need to do is get rid of the dam that's right here actually and treat this as one reservoir and then use the water from this reservoir. Ooh, floods. Flood, flood, flood. Not good. But that's all for next episode. Yeah, I think I think we have a good start here. I'd like to thank y'all for joining me. Thank y'all for sticking around. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.